Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us on Prime Team News. First at four, I'm Jane McCarthy. And I'm Tom Sherry. You're noticing some big changes down at Riverfront Park going on this week. Crews have started to demolish the IMAX theater there. Yeah, that building is definitely a piece of Spokane history. It opened back in 1978 at a cost then of a million dollars. A 30 year contract with IMAX gave the city of Spokane exclusive rights to those films in the region, but that contract expired back in 2008. Originally, the building was scheduled to be demolished in March, but city workers say they were able to do it sooner because the necessary equipment is already in the park. Krem 2's Alexa Block is live from downtown where all the action is taking place. Hi, Alexa. Hey guys, crews have made some good progress if you're considering, if you're supporting this project, uh, some pretty good progress this past afternoon over the last few hours when it comes to demolishing the IMAX. I'm going to step aside and show you that you can see that they're working right now on the north side of the IMAX and they've been here since about one o'clock this afternoon and this wasn't even supposed to be happening until March, but the city moved up the date since the equipment was already down here. We're told it's going to take most of the week to finish tearing down the building and moving out all the debris and materials. I spoke with several people today who stopped to watch the demolition. Some people are excited to see what's next for the park, but at the same time, sad to see the IMAX go. Yeah, I, I think it's good, but it's good to have memories of it as well. I just think it's sad that it gets, it's part of the park. I love it here, so it's just kind of, it belongs there. Well, it's gonna, uh, the area where the IMAX was and was will be a part of the new pavilion. It'll be an open space that can be used for events and concerts like festivals and those types of things. Now the new pavilion and promenade are expected to be open in the summer of 2019 in downtown Spokane. Alexa Block, Crem2 News. Alexa, thank you very much.